<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Iron Giant's one of my favorite fighting game characters of all time. And even though I haven't played many fighting games, I like to think that that is a huge feat. He has a giant hitbox, and he really embodies the idea of being this gargantuan metal man. And even though I don't know much about how Multiverses works, and the deeper concepts in it, I think I could still teach you how to play Iron Giant. Mediocrely. Now that means I'm not going to be able to teach you everything. If you really want to capture some of the more technical aspects of the game, like what moves eliminate at what percent, that's not going to happen here. This is going to be the monkey brain guide to how to play the Iron Giant. But Freelance, come on, are you some sort of idiot? Everybody loves LeBron James. He sold out his soul to Warner Brothers to even slightly beat compared to Michael Jordan. You love LeBron James, LeBron don't you? James. LeBron 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 nah. Gotta play the Iron Giant. Almost level 30 on him. I've been playing him non-stop since I got him. Such a fun character. You launch everything with an immense amount of weight you throw around and have a good enough air game and recovery to be a threat off stage. In short, he's a heavier, larger Rob from Smash Brothers that uses super armor and temporary health to win matches. A longer explanation would be boring. I know because I wrote out a longer explanation and it was boring. And the video would have been boring. And gameplay would be boring. The Iron Giant does have some nice passives though. Instead of having a double jump, he has jet fuel which helps him float across the battlefield with ease. It shows up in a little circle like stamina in Breath of the Wild. With using air dodges, you can get back to the stage very fast. It's also better for hitting people midair because of the amount of control you have. Wow, I haven't felt this free since I found out what the minions did between 1930 and 1945. He can also apply thorns, hyper armor, and temporary health with his neutral special. This makes it so if you're fighting somebody who just has better buttons than you, you can press that button and just clobber on them trying to get some good damage off while they can't interrupt anything you're doing. It's kind of bullying though. I mean, like, it, it's kind of rude. It's, it's <laughs> look at this idiot. <laughs> yeah, grow up. He also has one more passive that I don't think is ever quite used. It's if an enemy collides with Iron Giant while they're being knocked back, he will act like a wall. And if he is grabbing onto a wall on the side of a stage, a teammate can technically use him as a platform. But why would you ever get on him if he was on the side of the stage? You're just both gonna get spiked, idiot. Like, you're just gonna die. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever utilized it. Can you believe that he has yet another thing that he can use? After the Iron Giant or his teammate, take enough damage, he can go into an enraged mode, making him turn into a more deadly world-conquering form. It gives him some temporary health and different abilities and attacks that make it so he can just bully everybody with an over-exuberant amount of projectiles. This is done with your neutral special, which is the same button as your scrap shield. If you have the right perks on Iron Giant, you can also easily take like 300 damage without getting knocked out. Maybe even 400 if you're on Scoobert Dubert's Haunted Mansion. But the real thing you should know about Iron Giant is that he shouldn't be in a fighting game. The idea of him fighting so lackadaisically goes against the message of his movie and his character. When he eventually fights, it's seen as a tragic Frankenstein's monster-like outburst. Ah, but who cares? But slam! There are four steps to greatness when you play the Iron Giant. Step one, flatten. First thing you gotta do in a match is set up your superior ground game. Oh, you're also gonna have to bring this uh, special secret blend of four perks and spices. All this does is make it so you can use your scrap shield a bit more and survive stuff by teching it and being naturally more tanky. Plus, afterburners is just kind of the best main perk. I don't know why. Everything else just kind of is meh. For others, you don't really feel like you're getting anything out of it. First thing I usually do in a round is to place down that fire arena. This makes it so if anybody walks up to you, they are going to be suffering from burning damage plus whatever you decide to do to them. Secondly, I go, no balls, you won't fight me, you idiot, you stupid scum, and I start throwing stuff at them. 
possibly flaming stuff too. This makes it so you can rack up some early damage before the melee really starts, and so your teammate can pick up the scrap to get some extra temporary health. Once they get close enough to your flaming visage, you immediately want to pop your scrap shield. This makes it so they can't trade into you and you can do even more damage, hopefully getting them to about 50 damage in the first few seconds of the game. I usually like using the forward normal on this one just so I can jab them out and then send them launching so I can throw more scrap at them. Or maybe even follow up with a holy up special, hitting them multiple times with that car. If you actually do this right, you can actually hit both of the people on the enemy team, doing big damage while the person you're playing with racks up some too, comboing them. Eventually you'll start knocking them into the air and you'll have to chase them to hopefully get a KO. That's where step two comes in. Step two, upwards. With that rocket fuel, your air game is probably one of the easiest in the game. One of your easiest combos is to just grab and use an up special and carrying them off stage like that. And most of your off stage fighting is going to be using that up special or one of your side specials. Just make sure you keep an eye on your rocket fuel so you don't f fall plummeting down to the blast zone like a stupid idiot baby. Most of your launching will come from your ground game and your epic butt slams. <laughs> nice one, King. If you play it right and your opponent doesn't dodge any of your attacks, you could probably get somebody out at about 70 damage by doing a butt slam into an up air. Bruisers hate him. Find out how he kills at 70 damage with this simple trick! Sometimes your enemies will know what to do against you and dodge, and that's when you have to go to step 3. CONDITION! You want to set up your mind games and make your opponent think you play a certain way. You gotta freak him out. You really gotta freak him out. You gotta make him think that you're gonna do one thing, but then you do something different. You gotta go full goblin mode and just start pressing buttons. Like hitting some weird moves with the larger parts of your hitboxes and arms when it spins, or when you're throwing wreckage, or piling down some art, or going into rage mode. Changing most of your moveset and being able to absorb about 40 extra damage. Spam projectiles and get a nice stun off or two. Cancel your cannonball midair to only do it again. Be weird but be smart, and that will really help you win the game. But in order to really win the game, you need to take four stops. Which leads us to step four. Kill! Wait, 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 no, 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 no! Step four, neutralize. See, I was telling you guys, iron, it's thematically accurate, and my mom won't yell at me for it. It's always been iron, and always has been. You are just reading it wrong. Once you get the enemy team to about 110 damage, you can start to look for a neutralizing kill. A bit more consistently. Iron Giant suffers from neutralizing anyone once they are more worried about getting hit than hitting. There are some things that are harder to land when your target is juking you though. Someone is paying attention where you are and what you're doing. You're most likely never going to land your butt slam. In fact, if you spam it, they might adapt and just start juggling you. Which causes you to adapt too. There are some things that consistently work though. For example, if you can get a grab off and or get a stun off with your enrage mode, you can easily kill them and butt slam them or use any heavy attack you need to launch them out of the stage. Then Sam! You're done. You're done. You did it. You did it and you're you're an Iron Giant main now. You're an Iron Giant, but here's a badge. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Go out there and get them. Happy travels, buddy. If you guys got any questions, you can always email me after class. Or just ask for a tutoring session during my designated student help time, which is in the syllabus.